Good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Lenovo Yoga 520 and recently we upgraded the SSD. So today we're going to install Windows 10 in UEFI environment. There are two ways to get into BIOS. First of all you need a paper clip or SIM opening tool, one of them. And also you should have bootable correct USB thumb drive to reinstall the system. So first thing is you need to create one, make sure charger is connected. Don't turn it on. By the way, Lenovo, if you check on the right hand side, especially all the yoga, you can see the power button. Then there is a little hole, then memory card reader. Okay, so that is the hole. And behind it, there is a switch, I mean button which is called Novo button. So if you click like that, it's going to turn on. OK, and it's going to take you directly to the Novo button menu. OK, so let's do it again. You can see the light is turning on. And we're going to see the few menus here. OK, so I clicked on BIOS. Now it's turning on. So that's the actual BIOS page. As you can see, there are many options. So All right. So there are a few sections, as you can see, information, configuration, security, boot, and exit. To be honest with you, we just need to change a couple of settings, or sometimes that might be enabled by default, okay? One of them, secure boot, pretty much that's all, and USB boot enable. These are the couple of options. So we're going to get into security section, and from here, secure boot, as you can see, that is enabled by default. If it is disabled, make sure you make it enabled for EEFI boot. And then if you go to the right section, which is called boot, we can see here there is an option called USB boot. Make sure you make it enable. Otherwise, you don't be able to see your external USB connected to the computer. You're going to see you're not going to see in the system. So there are a couple of boot option EFI that you can see one of them, the existing windows, another one. EFI. Sorry for the dust. This is from my customer and I never had a chance to clean it, you know. By the way, so the system would turn on and it would take you to the existing windows, okay, which we don't want it. So let it turn on, then firstly we have to shut it down again. And once you shut it down, we have to repeat the same procedure again. How? Click it, the noble button, and it's going to turn on. And this time, instead of getting to BIOS setup, we're going to get into boot menu. Hit enter. Now from here, you would be able to see your USB if that is correctly created. And now it's going to restart and get back to Windows setup page. By the way, in that stage, that might take a couple of minutes, could be more. It depends on how fast is your computer and how fast is your USB. OK, so if you see nothing does happen, don't rush, don't panic, just give it a time. OK, if it takes more than three to five minutes, then you might have to check your USB if that is connected properly or your bootable USB has created properly or not. OK, so here we go. I can see the Windows setup page, select it and then click on next install now. Setup would be started. By the way, we might have to accept terms and condition and choose the custom boot to make it enable. All right, so we're going to accept the terms and condition and custom installation, which is the bottom option. Now, as you can see, there are many partition. OK, in that stage, be careful if you do have any existing data, make sure you back it up before you delete any partition. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. So. I'm going to delete all of them because I don't have any important information in there, which is absolutely fine to delete it. All right, so one by one, I'm going to delete all of them and I'm going to create a single partition just to have some more space into the C drive. OK, so once it's done, then we're going to hit next and the main process will begin. That would take about 10 minutes for this machine because this is comes with Ryzen 7 
and also 24 gig RAM and 5 to hold SSD. I think that should be absolutely fine. So let's wa wait until it gets finished and then check if there is correct successful boot up or not. Alright, so at this stage it might take a few minutes to get things sorted and afterwards everything would be fine. The same policy you can apply to install Windows 10 or 11 as long as it's in EFI environment. Thanks for watching guys. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.